Are you tired of stale and flat arenas that robots can hide in? Well, we've got a solution for you! Those Bolfins at Speghead Incorporated have come up with a solution to this conundrum. Introducing The Shelf! This ingenious contraption has increased robot interactions by 1 million percent, and what's this? You can even attack from above! Wow! Look at that! Robot combat will never be the same! All that matters now is the shelf! The shelf! The shelf! The shelf! <laughs>
as its side barrels get torn and ripped away. I think one of the maces has come off of that top spinner as well. Which means that weapon of theirs will now be unbalanced. One will need to hitting the pit button. So down goes the pit. As you can see, the pit actually works this series. That's fantastic to see. Oh, and our brand new arena, which we got to see during the All-Stars and the International Special. It's now great to see you, the robots fighting in it for the Grand Championship. Jump Rob being pushed towards the pit. And I think it's only a matter of time until they go down into it. If Waddle D2 could get themselves into a position. Oh, something's gone wrong there though with Waddle D2. I think something's come off with their spinner because their spinner was not well balanced and Chomp Rob's now is due to the maces being taken off and they've caused some damage there to the reigning champions so this isn't over yet Chomp Rob I thought they were done for but they've survived this long they've lasted this long at the moment their weapon seems to be working the better of the two but I'm just I don't think they can quite catch up with the amount of damage that's been dealt to them and they're on the verge of going down the pit here and they're down well it was a brave Six. performance but it ends there what a way to start off the new series of Lego Wars, seeing the reigning champions Waddle D2 come back and do what it does best, causing horrendous damage to whoever it comes across. To fair play to Chomp Romp though, the new boys, they did do incredibly well to last as long as they did, and they even did manage to do a little bit of damage of their own before being shoved into the pit by Waddle D2. Well, I say shoved in, they went in themselves. Brutal KO win from the champs to start their defence in style. We'll let Chomp Romp get fixed while we move on to fight two between Agro Wobber and the Loathsome Mastiff. Robot is stand by. Three, two, one, activate. So it's great to see Mastiff back again. Fan favourites, of course, from Italy. Agro Wobber, the number 20 seeds, have already lost their front face. Although it has definitely been improved for this series of LEGO Wars. It's quicker, it's more agile, and that hammer hits a lot harder. And Mastiff has lost its flipper already. And to be fair, it lasted longer than it usually does. <laughs> Trying to get that wedge underneath Agro Wobber now and push them around. Agro Wobber, though. Oh, I have actually been pushed away there. Look at that. That was a great shove there by Mastiff. Could they still cause an upset here and take out the number 20 seeds? Mastiff and Nellos the side panel. Agarobber winning on damage so far. The pit button has been pressed. So down goes the pit. And if Agarobber can... Oh, sorry. If Mastiff can get underneath Agarobber again like he did earlier, we could see Agarobber going down that pit. Good aggression, though, and good control by Agarobber to slam Mastiff into the side wall and bring that hammer down. Oh, now the mouth has come off of Mastiff. And I don't think they're going to be able to get underneath Agarobber again now. Not after that. And now Agro Wobber underneath Mastiff. Trying to topple them over, maybe. Good pushing and power here by Mastiff. All oh, the arena spikes coming up. Don't really think they did much there to Agro Wobber. I must be honest. Good push once again by Agro Slamming Mastiff into the side wall and into the corner. Oh, good little push there by Mastiff. But Agro Wobber able to slam on the anchor. Although they once again got caught by those arena spies. This is a really good fight, isn't it? It's full, it's frantic, it's phenomenal. Mastiff have toppled themselves now, which actually means they've got a lower front again, or back or rear. I don't know what that is. I'm going mad just watching this fight. That hammer of Agarobber, though. It's very quick, it's very effective, it's very dangerous. And Mastiff are feeling every single hit and getting a headache from each and every one of them. Agarobber... For me, on top, it's been the more aggressive, it's been the more controlled, it's been the more damaging. Mastiff, are they going to throw themselves in the pit? It wouldn't be the first time. They toppled themselves back onto the right way now, and now pushing Agarobber back, so they are still fighting! And Agarobber nearly threw themselves in the pit there. There would have been a few face palms if they had done that. Once again, Mastiff, he toppled! Oh my goodness me, how on earth did they survive that? And again surviving, and pushing Agarobber back now. This is one heck of a fight! Could well go to the judges. Fair play to Master. They've given the number 20 seeds one heck of a battle here. As he gets pinned against the side wall once again by Agro Wobber. Agro Wobber vastly improved since last was like we said. Could be a contender for this series. Could be one to watch out for if it continues performing like this. And now it's right by the pit. 
and the audience are on tender hooks. I am sure. Can Mastiff get an upset here? What's happened to Agro Woman? No, they're okay. They're crawling forwards, but they are a lot slower than they were at the beginning of this fight. We're in the final 10 seconds. It is going to go to the judges unless Mastiff can take advantage of this situation now. They're not going to. But well done, Mastiff, for Six. not only putting up a great fight, but for lasting as long as he did. That was one heck of a battle. Oh! And now they throw themselves in. That was just full-on, non-stop action. Agrawaba lost their face very early on, but they kept swinging down with that hammer. Mastiff also lost their flipper very early on. Then again, when doesn't it lose its flipper? Let's be honest here. Good aggression from Mastiff throughout the battle, but Agrawaba caused more damage and had a lot more aggression as well, thanks to its four-wheel drive. Just here, look, just constantly pancaking them with the hammer, smacking them down. It's gone to the judges. What a fight, but I think Agarobba has pipped this one. And the winner by unanimous decision is... Agarobba. A sturdy start from the 20th seeds to move up into second in table, while Mastiff unfortunately has a point to its name. Next up, it's Tin's first appearance against the champions. Robot is stand by. Three, two, one, activate. A battle of two deadly spinners this one, Waddle D2, reigning champions of course, already scored three points after that vicious KO victory earlier on versus Tin. Now Tin have managed to use that spinner to get one of those arms of Waddle D2 and block its spinner from working and now causing serious damage to the top of Waddle D2. Something came flying off there, Tin always been an under retriever in Lego Wars, it's never really lived up to its potential or its height. We finally saw it do well in the Christmas special last year, but before that it had never really done anything. Oh, dearie me, but now taking huge damage from Waddle Dee. Oh, but they've torn off Waddle Dee's little writing arms, the stabilizing arms. We knew this was going to be a destructive battle. We didn't really know who was going to be on top, and I still don't know who's on top, really. Both machines are causing formidable damage. I'd say Tin Spinner, though, Seems to be a little bit unbalanced. I think the spin has taken a bit of damage. Tin, though, using good control and aggression here to try and stop the spinner of Waddle D2. Trying to pin it against the arena side wall. Remember, if you win via judge decision in this series, it's two points. If you lose via uh, judge decision, it's one point. If you lose via K, you get zero points. And if you win via K, you get three lovely juicy points. Hence why Waddle D2 has already got three for its KO victory for the last round. So they came flying off of Tin there. Tin for me, that spinner doesn't seem to be working as well as it was earlier, and by that I mean it doesn't seem to be working at all. It also seems to be slowing down a little bit here. Has the damage to Tin started to take its toll? Waddle D2 slowly but surely coming back, but Tin using that front wedge to deflect the spinner and starting to push and shove. Are they almost like they're trying to block the spinner, trying to guide them around the arena towards the side wall so they can get that spinner stopped. This is good driving by Tin, it must be said, but the damage is speaking for itself. For me, Waddle 2 now on top, so Tin will really have to fight hard here to, to come back. But without a weapon, I'm not too sure how they're going to do it unless they can get Waddle 2 down into the pit. But that's a good attack there by Tin, slamming them into the side wall. Waddle 2 once again having its spinner stopped though, those arms hanging limply on the back of the robot. Almost like a broken bird's wing. Almost. Good push there by Tin. Now they finally come off. Now will that affect this battle at all? Oh, Waddle too close to the pit, but able to get away. Tin's front wedge now taking some serious damage. And having a piece of that ripped away. For me, Waddle too on top as far as damage is concerned. Not too sure about control and aggression at the moment. Tin trying to use that front wedge to push and shove Waddle too into the pit. It's going to go to the judges at this rate. We're into the final seven seconds. Very good fight, this one, and a heck of a performance by Tin, but I don't quite think it's done well enough. And Waddle D2 has definitely come back strongly towards the end, and I think has pipped this one. But let's see the highlights. It started so well for Tin. They managed to get that bit of arm caught on the spinner, and they managed to cause some serious damage to the top and also the spinner. But then their own spinner broke. I think it was around about here. It took serious damage. The spinner broke. And after that, it was all Waddle d 2s fight, really. They were able to come back strongly, knock bits flying, including the front wedge, completely obliterated. And I think Waddle d 2 came back strong enough towards the end to win that one via the judges. But it was a good fight overall, wasn't it? Fantastic stuff.
And the winner by unanimous decision is... Waddley 2! A close run fight, but it's the champions that pull off the comeback win. Next is the repaired Chompromp and Mastiff. Robot is stand by. 3, 2, 1, activate. I'm not too sure what to expect in this battle, if I'm honest. Both these machines, good fun, entertaining designs. Mastiff, of course, with that lifting arm. Chompromp with those spinning weights. Dokes a lot of damage in the last round, though, Chompromp. Unfortunately, due to it facing off against Waddle 2 they seem to have done a good job fixing it, but Mastiff has the pushing power here, shoving Chomp Romp. Chomp Romp seems to be having control problems already. I'm just wondering if they're still struggling from the damage they took in the last round. They are currently on zero points. Mastiff are on one point due to get a judge's decision loss against Agro. What were the number 20 seeds earlier on? Mastiff have now slammed into the side wall, and I think they've killed themselves. No, they're okay. Oh, for a minute, I thought they died themselves. Meanwhile, Chomp Romp, the spinner is spinning madly, but the drive seems to be doing absolutely nothing. Mastiff have hit the pit, but oh, what are you doing, lads? You had it! You had it and you threw it away! What on earth was that about? And Chomp Romp somehow get three points! I swear to God, the Mastiff team want me to have an aneurysm on this show. What on earth was that all about? They had the fight won, Chomp Romp were barely mobile, couldn't even get off that part of the arena. Massive hit the pit button and then threw themselves in. Chomp Romp somehow get a three points. Talk about snatching victory from the jaws of defeat. Mastiff, Mastiff, Mastiff. I feel like my angst is justified as they throw away a certain win and from nowhere Chomp Romp is now second. Hopefully things will be more sensible now with the rematch between Agrawobber and Tin. Robot is stand by. Three, two, one. Activate. Now this battle is actually a rematch from The Last Wars. Agro Wobber beat Tin in about 10 seconds, hitting it with its hammer and scoring perhaps the quickest KO in LEGO Wars history. However, it hasn't managed to redo that success, although it is hitting it where it did last time and that panel is missing, so that area is now exposed and that will leave Tin worried. Remember, it was that area of the robot that KO'd them last time around. Agro Wobber, certainly on top at the moment. They've been the more aggressive. They've caused the more damage. Yes, they may have lost their face, but that always happens. That's just a bit of superficial damage. That's just for decoration. Tin hitting the pit button. Down goes the pit. And attempting now to push Agro Wobber. So they've definitely got the ability to push Agro Wobber. They could push them towards the pit and get a surprise win here against the number 20 seeds. Down comes the hammer again in that exposed area. Good control, good aggression there from Agro, but good damage as well as it pushes and shoves Tin towards the arena side wall. Their top panels come loose though because they're shaking themselves around a bit too much. Tin getting that spinner up to speed. What on earth has happened to Agro here? Has Agro died? They seem to have just completely stopped moving. Oh no, don't tell me they've died under no circumstances. That'll be a huge shame for the number 20 seeds. A little flick of the hammer, but nothing. And oh wait, no, they're okay. They are okay. They just lunged forward there. I thought we were going to have a big upset there, but they are okay. Tin trying to regain their spinner now. It's coming on the attack. Their spinner seems to have stopped once again. Agrawabba backing away, coming in for another attack, bringing the hammer down. Tin, though, managing to push Agrawabba back. So they've definitely got the push advantage. Now bringing that spinner back into things again, trying to cause some damage maybe. Agarobber manages to avoid the spinner well though. Tin spinner once again slowing down. Every time they seem to get it up to speed, they seem to stop it. Why is that? Have they got control problems? Is there a problem with the weapon, I wonder? Really good fight, this one. Fighting the heat so far, if you ask me. Both robots giving it their all. Agarobber's hammer is so much more improved this time around. You can see that by how quick and how hard it hits now. Look how rapid fire it is. Look at the power. Look at the speed of it. But their four-wheel drive does, I will admit, <laughs> leave a lot to be desired, especially in this fight against Tin, as they keep being outpushed by them. This could well go to the judges, and if it does, it will be very, very tight. Agarobba, if they win this, they'll get two points on a judge's decision. That will get put them at the top of the leaderboard with Waddle D2. Tin, meanwhile, need a win here, really. They've only got one point. They lost the judge's decision to Waddle D2 in the last round. Now driving towards the sea. Oh, towards the pit. And both Agawabba and Tin, they're very, very close to going down the pit. Look at that. They are skirting and flirting with danger. We're into the final 10 seconds. It will go to the judges unless either of these two machines goes in the pit in the next three seconds. They're not going to. 
And that was a very, very good fight. Very good rematch, but I don't think Tin have managed to get revenge. We'll have a look at the highlights of Pine Oh, dear. Thankfully, that happened after C. So, uh, Agarwobber, definitely very aggressive throughout bringing that hammer into play, smashing down, causing damage, but they weren't able to capitalise on that exposed area. And they did have a lot of control problems throughout. They also had a lot of problems pushing, definitely Tin the better pusher, but I think the hammer and the aggression and the damage caused by said hammer should be enough to just sway it their way. Very, very good fight though. Well done Tin for lasting that long. And the winner by unanimous decision is... Agrawobber. A much closer encounter this time, but it's the same result for the Blue Blob as we reach the halfway point with the champions on top with 5 points. They could secure their place in the knockout stages if they win their next fight against the Wayward Mastiff. Robot ears, stand by. 3, 2, 1, activate. Right, ladies and gentlemen, place your bets. Who's winning this one? And if anybody thinks it's going to be the Italian dog, you're a nutter. Or are you? Look at this attack here from Mastiff underneath Waddle 2 and nearly flipping it over. Now going for the pit button. So they must be confident they can get underneath and pit it. Oh, but... The <laughs> well, I thought they might be able to, but they just had their face completely caved in. Although, to be fair to Mastiff, they're still on the offensive, they're still on the aggressive, and they're still able to get underneath Waddle D2 and shove it around the arena. So, a well timed and well placed shove could very well have Waddle D2 down the pit. Are we about to see the biggest upset in LEGO Wars history? I don't think so. Not on the evidence of that now. The wedge has completely been destroyed, so I doubt they're going to get underneath Waddle D2 now. I think they've lost their chance. Fair play to Mastiff though for what has to be said, a fantastic start to the battle. Mastiff is completely done for here though. They stuck on the pieces of rubble on the arena. I don't think they could get back from that. And this is Waddle D2's fight to lose now, surely. Is Waddle D2 okay? Yep, well for a minute I thought they seemed to have died. Mastiff being counted out, rightfully so. Well, it was a good, brave battle and a good, brave attempt by them. But Waddle D2, the reigning champions, with another KO victory and another three points in their point scoring. Well done to them. Oh, dear. And it's just all too tempting, Six. I guess, to get one last kill shot in on oh, Mastiff. Well, it started well for Mastiff, didn't it? Underneath Waddle D2 and nearly flipping it over. That would have been the surprise of the century, if you ask me. And despite taking serious damage, they still were able to maintain some level of aggression here and here as well, look. But then their flipper flew off, and then the rest of their wedge flew off, and then they got stuck on their own pieces. Oh dear. That third win for Waddle Dee cements their place in the round of 32. Now let's see who can join them with our next fight as second and third face off against one another. Robot ears, stand by. Three, two, one, activate. So both these robots have got everything to play for really in this battle. Agrobor on four points due to two judges wins. Chompromp meanwhile one KO win against Mastiff gets them three points. So a win for either machine will almost certify them in the top three for this heat. Agrobor of course seeded 20th. Expected to do well this year because of the improvements. Performed well so far with that hammer of theirs. Flattening many a robot and definitely flattening Chompromp. Goodness me, Chompromp has already been struggling enough to get grip on the arena floor and it seems to be struggling again here. Agrawobba's face once again taken off. Chompromp, though, I think are completely done for already here. They seem to have completely stopped. There's no movement there. Yes, they're spinning around, but it's completely aimless and I don't think they've got much control in any whatsoever. And Agrawobba just slowly but surely bumping them towards the side wall. Bringing the hammer back down again. Chompromp. It's a great design. It looks really cool. But I think, honestly, they've been struggling with problems right from the very first activate. Right from the very first battle after they took that serious damage from Waddle D2. They haven't managed to fix it properly since then. And I think that's done for. Yeah, the countdown has already begun. And Chompromp. A brave performance for sure, brilliant newcomers, but they are out Six. once again, and Agrawobba secure another three points. 
They're on a bit of a warpath, aren't they, at the moment? The number 20 series with that very vicious hammer. Jump from the newcomers. They put on a brave attempt, but they had no hope in hell as they got pancaked by that huge hammer and then slammed into the side wall. And I think it was about here or here. One of these hits here must knock something loose in Chomp Romp because after that they had absolutely no movement whatsoever. And Agrawal versus Gyor, a further three points and shoot up the leaderboard. With their first KO this series, Agrawal ensure they will be in the knockout stages. Now it's up to Tin to try and pull themselves back into contention with their next fight against Mastiff. Robot ears, stand by. Three, two, one. Activate. So, who will come out on top of this one? Will it be the Tinny Tin Tin or will it be the Italian Mastiff? Well, Mastiff once again starting the stronger here. He's had a lot of strong starts in this heat so far. Look at that, getting under the Tin. He couldn't flip it over. No, Tin. Surviving, but getting it over this time. No, once again, it managed to survive. The lifter of Mastiff has stayed on the machine very well so far. <laughs> Although, oh! The flipper, the flipper may still be attached, but the wheel has just come off, and now Tin is basically pulling Mastiff apart. Fair play to Mastiff, though, it's still moving out of its circumference. It's actually got quite good maneuverability for a robot with one wheel. Look at that, but bits and pieces being sent flying all over the place, and it's only a matter of time until Tin has victory on its plate here. Oh dear, well Mastiff, you've got to give credit where credit is due, <laughs> they've come back once again, they've <laughs> been absolutely mudded and they're still going. <laughs> oh, and the flip is still attached, so at least that's something, nothing else is mine, but there we go. This is the kind of damage that Tin is capable of when it works, and my goodness is it glorious when it does work. Mastiff in trouble but still surviving just, although I don't know how much more of this punishment they could take to be honest before they have to call it a day and throw in the towel. This tin just slowly but surely grinding and wearing away at it. That side looking a bit knackered. The drive looks a little bit knackered. And I think they're just completely done for! There goes the... <laughs> there goes the flipper! The floor spike stabbing them, <laughs> more of this chassis being torn apart, being flicked over, but they're back to life now, somehow they're still going, it will not die, it will not go down, as Mastiff, <laughs> and not only is Mastiff still going, but I think they've managed to unbalance Tin Spinner, so now Tin is bucking around like a Bronco Bull. One of those rodeo balls you see at fun fairs. Oh dear. Surely Mastiff is out at this point. I don't think they've got full mobility. They certainly haven't got full mobility since they're losing that wheel. But they don't seem to be able to get out of their circumference anymore. And they are being counted down and out finally. As Tin secure a three point victory in one of the best performances we've seen Six. from them yet. That was absolutely spectacular. Great fun. Exactly what LEGO Wars is all about. Well, it started well for Mastiff, I suppose, getting underneath Tin and nearly flipping it over a few times, but they weren't able to capitalise on that. And then slowly but surely, the robot just started falling apart on its own accord before Tin decided to help it fall apart some more. Ripping bits off of it, <laughs> sending pieces flying around the arena, the flipper gone, the side panel's gone, the chassis gone, everything gone, really. Mastiff somehow, someway had a little bit of life, but not enough in the end. With some of the most satisfying destruction this announcer has seen, Mastiff is consigned to last place on a single point. Now it's decision time between Tin and Chomp Romp as to who will claim that last confirmed space for the heat. Robot ears, stand by. Three, two, one, activate. Chomp Romp need a win here in order to stay in the series. And I don't think it's going to happen, not from the evidence of that. Tin already taking off Chomp Romp's weapon. And I think Chomper had all kinds of <laughs> problems already, which is a shame to see. And I think another victory is in tin sight. If they get this victory, they are pretty much guaranteed to go through to the round of 32. They're pretty much guaranteed to be in the higher end of this heat. Meanwhile, Chomp Romp, even with a 
with a judges win I think would have struggled they really did need a KO victory here and it's not going to happen and I think they can kiss goodbye to them staying in this series however they could go home proud that they did enter an entertaining and fun machine that was both unique and able to put on a fun performance even if it is much more fun seeing it get smashed up to be honest although I will admit Tin seems to be struggling to actually gain any purchase on it now with that spinner Chomp Bromp running away, but now backing up and actually pushing Tim there. That was a good attack. Pushing him into the pit button. Down goes the pit. And another well-timed push like that could very well see Tim going into the pit. So don't count out Chomp Bromp just yet, the new boys. They've been great sports. They've been great fun. And if they don't win this fight, I do hope they come back with an improved machine. I really would like to see this type of machine come back new and improved. And doing a little bit better, a lot better than what it's doing right now. Look at the bits and pieces littering in the arena. They've, they've been pulled apart. They've been absolutely mullered. Still going though. There's not really much left for Tin to actually hit on them, to be fair. And like I said, a well-timed push could see Tin going down the pit. No, no, no. Now that you're stuck on the arena spikes. Guys, you need to get away from the arena spikes. I don't think they can get away from there, the spikes. No, they have managed to get away now, but they've driven back over them again. That was bad driving and bad control. Tin coming in with another hit, taking off one of the eyes. Aye, aye, what's happened? Well, they're screwed. They've lost their uh, they've lost their depth perception now, so they're completely vulnerable when it comes to control, I'm sure. I'm kidding, obviously. But Tin, by far the aggressive, by far the more damaging, and by far the more control of these two machines. As they pummel away and nip and grind away at the side there of Chomp Romp. I don't think there's much more damage that can be done to Chomp Romp, to be honest. And even if this does go to the judges, I think it's a secure victory for 10. If they do win by the judges, it'll be two points. We'll give them a total of seven points. That should be more than enough to get them into the round of 32. Chomp Romp, bless them for trying and bless them for not giving up as well. But I think they're done for here. This battle has gone a lot longer than I thought it would. I thought Tim would have had an easy win here. And we're into the final 10 seconds. So unless Tim can do something important here. Chomp Romp very close to that pit. And again very close. Could we see them get pitted here in time? Six. No! Cease called. And it will go to the judges. Well done to Chomp Romp for lasting as well as it did. But I think the winner is pretty obvious. Chomp Romp losing its weapon almost immediately. And that pretty much summed up the battle. Let's be honest, Tim knocking bits and pieces flying from the top of Chomp Romp as the fight went on it just got more and more de-shelled they did have a little bit of a good push there on Tin but that was the only real attack they managed to get the rest of it was just Tin pulling them apart and peeling away their armour until there was barely anything left fair play to Chomp Romp though they survived to the end just even if the spikes tried to stop them but I think Tin have secured this one and the winner by unanimous decision is Tin and so it's the vertical spinner that claims that third place to move on. Now all that remains is for the seas to fight out for the top spot. Let's see whose unbeaten run will end here. Robot ears, stand by. Three, two, one, activate. So in the final battle of the heat, the two seeds clash. Waddle 2 number one seed, Ag Robber, the number 20 seed. Both opposite ends of the spectrum, yes, but both formidable performers at this heat so far. Remember, both these machines are actually already through to the round of 32. This is really just for bragging rights. Not only that, though, it's also for extra points to see where you get seeded in the round of 32. So it is still an important battle, despite both of us being through. Agarwaba taking serious damage already, although, to be honest, that face, let's be real, it's just there for show. It's just a bit of a laugh, isn't it? It's a bit of a gimmick. So... Who is winning out of these two so far? Waddle D2 hasn't caused as much damage as we thought it would actually early on in this fight. Agarwaba's front wedge proving to be very sturdy, very effective. Now they remember they'd actually designed it this year to deflect spinners and I tell you what, poor Waddle D2 was very close to the pit there and I think a well-timed push from Agarwaba could have sent them down. Oh my goodness me, what on earth are Waddle D2 doing there? They nearly threw themselves into the pit. Almost as if they're giving Agarwaba a bit of a chance here. Down comes the hammer onto the spinner of Waddle D2. The spinner is not spinning. What's gone hap What's happened here to Waddle D2? Everything seems to be going wrong for them. Their spinner has stopped. They're losing control out there. There's bits and pieces falling off of them. 
They reverse backwards, but they're okay. I think the spinner's back up to speed now, or is it? Yes, they are trying to spin that spin up to speed, but there's something wrong here with with the uh, 1D2. And Agorba for me are on top here and could well cause an upset. Yes, they may be seeded 20, but they are against the reigning champions, and they could well win this one. Oh, good hit out there by Agorba pushing. Waddle D2 back now towards the corner, pinning them in and bringing the hammer in. That's a viable tactic. It's a very useful tactic that they've used before. Waddle D2 going around the arena trying to escape Agawamba so they can maybe get that spin up to speed and try again. But that front wedge of Agawamba is so effective with deflecting and stopping that spinner. Down comes the hammer again of Agro Wobbler, but it missed actually to be fair. Now, oh, 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 Agro Wobbler! On the verge of going down here, and surely it's all over now. They get away. How on earth did they survive that? And more to the point, how on earth did Waddle D2 not take advantage of that? And again, Angle Woman nearly throwing themselves in. They are flirting with danger out there. What on earth are they doing? They're winning this fight, and they nearly threw it away twice. Now coming back in on Waddle D2. Waddle D2 just doesn't seem to have an answer for that front wedge of Agawa, but down comes the hammer again on top of the spinner now. We're in another final 10 seconds and this is going to go to the judges. But what's happened to Agawa? Oh no, they're okay. For a minute there, I thought they died at the last second. And one last Six. shot there from the reigning champions as Cease is called. What a fight. Well, I think to a minute, but I think the reigning champions may have been stumped there. That front wedge of Agawabu really did hold strong. Yes, okay, the face may have fallen off, but when does that never happen? Let's be real now. But Agawabu, for me, were definitely the more aggressive. They were definitely the more controlled robot, and I think they even caused the more damage throughout as well. They managed to take off those weird little wing things on Waddle D2. They nearly threw themselves in the pit, yes, but they used great control to manage to get themselves away from there. And to be honest, I don't know how Waddle D2 didn't take advantage of that. What a great fight. And the winner by unanimous decision is Agrawobba. And with that controlled performance, it's Agrawobba that wins the heat. We've been treated to some brilliant displays tonight, as just like last year, it's the lowest seed to top the heat with an impressive unbeaten run. They will join the champions Weddle 2 and the battling tin to move on to the round of 32. That's all we have for tonight, but join us next week when the Series 1 Champions Panic Attack start their campaign to get back on top alongside the 18th Seeds Good Hits 2. For now though, I've been your host David Smeg, and we'll see you in the next one. Oh, get that wheel. Fucking <laughs> 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 <laughs>